Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel and today I want to show you how much time we really need with FSI Panel to fly a complex approach. So we will use a training scenario that is uh, available now with the latest version FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition. We'll try to fly this uh, AirNav RNP19 in Washington DC. So I will just show you basically the setup and we will look in real time how long we need to be in the air, ready to fly with an aircraft fully set up for you. So to do that, let's start our simulator. As you can see, I choose an FSLab aircraft today, FSLab A320. So what you have to do in the beginning is just to position yourself at the airport, at the airport, sorry, where you want to train. So for us, it's Ronald Reagan, Washington, DC. So KDCA, and we're gonna go on runway 19. And we click OK. And okay here we go so the sim will take some time to load in the meantime we will look at the chart so this is a complex approach we have two minimums as you can see we have one minimum with rnp011 and one minimum with rnp0.3 fsi panel will set that minimum for you if you want to fly the other minimum do so but make sure that you check your lateral and vertical deviation all those informations are in the training session notes, you will see that in a minute. So the idea of this short video is to show you how long we really need in real time to set up an approach. I am not moving anything forward. I'm just waiting now for my simulator to load. It takes a bit of time. So I'll meet you when the simulator is fully loaded and we continue on that video. Thank you. Okay, we are in the simulator finally, and as you can see, the uh, flight warning computer are still initializing, around 15 seconds to go. I will not touch anything there. As you can see, my FCU is completely uh, as default. We just have the engine running, nothing in the MCDU. Perfect, so we don't need here to do anything. Now we will start FSI panel and look at our approach. So FSI panel. Here we go, the program starts, and normally we should detect, it should detect where we are, so that's right, we are in KDCA, runway 19, and one thing as well very important, the aircraft there is an FSLab A320, this is correct as well. Now we will look at where we want to go, so select fix, here you can have all kind of options that you can choose from base to downwind to finals to star approach, but what we will do today is a scenario. So if I click on scenario, I have here this AirNav RNP19 in KDCA. So if you click there, now you can see that the origin is on the runway, this is where we are, destination will bring you back in on the runway. And if we click on session instruction notes, then we get our training scenario session note where you get all informations about what's going to happen with some hints due to the weather condition and everything. I will let you read that if you fly the scenario. So it's a snowy day in Washington DC with minimum weather. So if we look now in my active sky, today we are the 29th of March 2022. So the weather is more uh, live weather mode right now. So when I click start training, FSI panel will automatically change the weather for you with Active Sky. If you don't have Active Sky, no worries. FSI panel weather engine will do it as well and will simulate the weather for the same result. All right. So remember, we are on the runway. We don't didn't touch anything. I'm going to press start training and we'll see what happened. So if I click start training, the first thing that you will see in your P3D is setting now your active sky weather so what's happening now fsi panel is basically sending the weather to active sky so if i take active sky you can see that now we have 31st of january 2021 so we wait 20 seconds and now we'll move in the air so be ready for that the only thing you have to do on the active sky oh, sorry on the fs lab is to set your thrust lever to climb done and now, as always, don't touch anything. This is in the training session. Sorry, guys, about the master warning for cabin altitude. This is normal because we are positioning at 10,000 feet. This is expected and it will clear by itself in a few seconds. 
So now we will see what's happening with the setup. You can see that now something is happening in the MCDU. This is the initial setup from FSI panel. And 10,000 feet, I'll cruise, but you can see that we have no flight plan so far. Nothing is there. So now have a look at what's happening to my navigation display. Right now it's changing and my MCDU will be programmed now for the approach. So let's have a look there at what's happening on the MCDU. The weather is set, the routing is set, the minimum is set. Now let's see the auto brake is set and that's it. Basically now we get the message. Please check your MCDU and all other settings for the scenario. Set all your navies as required and when ready hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So basically now we are in a position freeze. We are not moving as you can see. We are position freeze. We can check our MCDU. So we have the flight plan. We have the performance entered as well. If I go to my approach page, I can see that I have all set up there for the landing, including my minima. I have my auto brake, so I'm basically ready to start that training scenario. So you saw, you see, sorry, how long it took for FSI panel to bring you in the air with an aircraft completely uh, free without any settings to an aircraft which is ready to fly an approach. So let's see now how we fly this approach. Just to start that approach, I will let you finish it. So when everything is done and I'm happy with this, the situation, I just hold my brake for two seconds. So let's do that now. And that's it. And now I get ATC instructions. It, ATC will guide me for that scenario all the way to landing. So now before you click on any of the line, make sure you comply with the instructions. So FSI panel 001 direct to FRDMM. When ready, this is an 8000 level at FRDMM, right? 8000. We go direct to FRDMM, insert. We are in nav, and now as you can see, the aircraft is moving, perfect. We have a top of descent, I have 8,000. I will arm the descent, and we can see that descent altitude aircraft is going. We have the weather there, so when you are ready, and you are happy with your uh, actions and your settings, just clear the ATC instruction by clicking on any of these lines and now you can fly your training session all right guys this was just to show you how easy and how fast you can fly an approach with fsi panel even on a complex aircraft like the fs lab a320 you can fly it within a few seconds thank you for watching hope you liked it if you have any questions or comment please drop your questions in the comment sections below thank you and as always fly safe see you bye bye